In this video, I'm going to show you how to work German short rows, as well as explain how you can use them in a pattern instead of wrap and turn short rows. So to start, your pattern will likely tell you to work to a certain number of stitches before the end of your work, and then it will say to turn the work. So in this demo, I am going to knit to three stitches before the end. Once I'm three stitches before the end, I'm just going to turn the work. So I literally turn the work over so that I'm ready to work the next row. Then you're gonna be instructed to work a double stitch. To do this when you're on a wrong side row like this, you're first gonna make sure that the yarn is in the front of the work, which in my case it is. Then you're going to slip the first stitch onto the right needle. To do this, you're going to insert the right needle into that next stitch on the left needle as if to purl, and then just slide it onto the right needle. Then all you have to do is pull the yarn over the top of the right needle to the back of the work. So let me show you, I'm just going to give the yarn a tug, just like that. And see how I, that one stitch now looks like two stitches just by tugging the yarn and bringing it behind the work. So we've created the double stitch right there. Then you would just work the next row as instructed, which in this case is to purl to the end. So I'm gonna bring the yarn to the front of the work and purl all my stitches. And in my pattern, it said to purl to three stitches before the end. Okay, so we're just about at three stitches to the end. Then it says just to turn the work. So we will literally turn the work over. So now the right side of the work is facing me. And so then it says to make a double stitch again. When you're on the right side of the work like this, you're gonna bring the yarn to the front of the work in between the two needle tips. Then you're going to slip that first stitch on the left needle, just like we had done on the wrong side. So I'm gonna take my right needle and I'm going to insert it purlwise into this stitch and then just slide it onto the right needle. And then just like the wrong side, I'm going to pull the yarn to the back of the work over the right needle, so just like that. Again, so that it distorts the stitch again, so that it looks like it is two stitches, just like that. And then um, you'll just work the rest of the row as instructed in the pattern, which in this case, um, my pattern says to work to two stitches before the last double stitch. So let me show you what this means. Okay, so here is our double stitch. You can tell because it's that one distorted stitch that has the two loops coming out of it. So this is considered one double stitch. And then here are the two stitches before that. So I've made it to that point and it says to then turn the work. Turn the work. And then just like we had done previously on a wrong side row to make the double stitch, you make sure that the yarn is in the front of your work, which it is. And then I'm going to slip purlwise that first stitch. And then I'm going to tug the yarn and bring it around the top of the right needle to the back of the work, distorting that one stitch so that it looks like a double stitch. And then the pattern says to purl to two stitches before the um, previous double stitch. So I'll bring the yarn to the front of the work so that I'm positioned to purl. And then I will just go ahead and purl to two stitches before the double stitch on this side. Okay, and I'm just gonna look ahead so I can tell here is my um, distorted stitch that looks like a double stitch. So I need to do, go to two stitches before that. So there's two, so I just have two more to purl. Okay. 
And then all you have to do is turn the work and then I'll make a double stitch on the right side by bringing the yarn to the front of the work, just like that. Then I'm going to slip that first stitch to the right needle. And then I'm gonna tug the yarn and bring it over the right needle behind the work. Again, distorting that stitch so now it looks like a double stitch. And then I would just continue as instructed. So after you've completed all of your short rows, on the last two rows of the pattern, it will say to work to the end, um, working the double stitches as one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what that means because we do have the two double stitches on this side so I can demo. So let's go ahead and knit to the first double stitch. Okay, so we've made it to the first double stitch and all you're gonna do is just make sure to knit those two loops together. So I'm gonna insert my right needle just like that and knit them together. Go. Then I usually give a nice little tug after I do that. Okay, so then let's knit to the next double stitch. There it is. So just make sure to get into both of those loops and work them together. Okay, then I'll just knit to the end. Now let me show you on the other side because we still have the double stitches on this side. So let's turn our work and let's now purl to these uh, double stitches on this side. I was working a bit of a garter stitch edge, so I'm actually going to just knit those first three stitches. And then I'm going to purl to my next double stitch. Okay, so I've made it to my first double stitch. So I'm going to purl these two together. So just take your right needle, make sure that you go into like this. So both of the loops are over the top of the right needle, just like that. And then you will purl them together. And I usually just give a little bit of a tug. Okay, let's do the last one then. Just go into this way and make sure that both of the loops are on the top of the right needle and then purl them together. Okay, and because I'm just on my edge here, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that like so. So there we go. And as you can see, it's a really nice seamless way to do um, short rows. Now, if you're working a pattern that uses wrap and turn short rows, you can sub in German short rows instead if you like. To do this, you'll work one more stitch than specified in the pattern before you turn the work. So for example, if a pattern says to knit to three stitches before the end and then wrap and turn, you would knit to two stitches before the end, turn the work, and then make your double stitch. Another example, if a pattern says to knit to four stitches before the previously wrapped stitch, and then you would do your wrap and turn, you would knit to three stitches before the previous double stitch, turn the work, and then make your double stitch. So that is how you work German short rows and how you can edit a pattern to use them instead of wrap and turn short rows.